Small Beach here, and today I'm bringing you guys back to our Cosmic PvP Factions series that I am doing on my channel. And so, I'm just going to be doing a bit of commentary. I am currently making our next, our second layer of region walls on our base, so while I was doing that, I figured might as well do live commentary, why not? So, a uh, few things, uh, I'm going to do a couple videos here coming up on here uh, with some PvP, I'm pretty sure I already mentioned that. Um, there might be like a vault cleanup, and then I'm going to do some custom armor videos of me making some uh, custom sets, because I got tons and tons of armor that needs to be made into custom gear. And then I have tons of swords now, and I'm also going to do a video where I am trying to grind axe enchants, get some good axes, don't have a whole lot right now, I need to get my axes up, that's why I've been trying to purchase a whole lot recently, but people want a whole lot for axes in the auction when they're not even that good. I just had a guy, one of our truces, offer me pretty good axe for a pretty good price, but currently I'm not looking to spend a whole lot. I'm trying to hit one million dollars on here. I'm going to be working on that as well in the video. Uh, when I get to 900,000, I'm going to be grinding to get to the next, uh, to one million. So that should be interesting. So, that's a little bit of an update. As you guys can see, I'm collecting loads of lava right now for these region walls. They take tons and tons of lava source blocks. Because if you're making it the right way, it takes one lava source block per level. I'll show you guys, you guys can see how it works. Um, I did do a how to like even cosmic PvP episode on how to make region walls the quickest way, and I know I'm not following that method, but it's because there's so much stuff around me currently that I don't have the space to do that. So as you guys can see, we built up pillars here, and then basically you just drop down side of it. Uh, normally the bottom would be empty, but since I went around and did like a couple ones on the bottom, when the pillars weren't as high as they are now, just to uh, get a little lava flowing here and there. So we do this, fill it all the way to the top, one source block at each point. Let's see here, boom. And So as you guys can see, you basically fill up each pillar here with a lava source at each position. If you guys didn't catch the other video, I suggest you go watch it. It's pretty decent. You basically go over the fundamentals. And, uh, actually, I really just go over an easy way to make it. So the idea behind this is to have lava source blocks at each point so that when someone cannons, it hits the cobblestone on the outside, which they have to sand stack for in the first place. And then when the set cobblestone is able to break, I'll show you guys with our other set over here. When the cobblestone is able to break, the water and the lava meet and form another block very quickly. And 
so cool. Then they have to basically shoot two rapid fire shots uh, in quick succession and hope they hit the same areas. And really, I don't even know what you're supposed to do to like try to break this, except for like busting in the top and like getting the water to slowly break it down, or busting open the bottom. But that's kind of hard if you can't touch the bottom, just like with ours, because the bottom there's defenses under there as well, because our base is gonna go from sky limit all the way to bedrock. Currently, it goes all the way down to bedrock. The sky limit part is not made yet. That's a work in progress. That's going to be a um, massive sand wall that I'm going to show you guys how to build easily. It literally, you have to place very few blocks. There's an auto builder that I saw someone make, and I basically converted it to be able to drop sand and make a giant wall that goes from. Well, you have to place some blocks. You can't. Uh, it won't go all the way up to sky limit but it'll get pretty close I think it's like I think I tested it was like three blocks away from sky limit so you just gotta go up there and place those three place two blocks then place water on top so pretty close to maxing it out there and uh, yeah so I think that's about it for this short little commentary for you guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video like the if you do enjoy and want to see some more from the Cosmic PvP Factions series. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.